Most commonly, homes have one or two tanks that are buried 12 to 24 inches below the grass. So, what happens after the waste leaves your home? A new tank, or a tank that has just been pumped, will fill up with mostly water within the first two to four weeks depending on use. This means the tank is always technically full. Over time, solids accumulate and separation occurs, creating a sludge layer on top, effluent water in the middle, and a sludge layer on the bottom. Waste comes in, and effluent water exits the tank to either another tank or straight to the drain field. A crucial piece to this process is the outlet baffle. It ensures that only effluent water exits and sludge can't make its way out to the drain field. If a tank goes too long between pumpings, heavy solids can exit the line and enter the field, which has potential to cause drain field failure. Let's take a step back first and talk about normal operating level. As mentioned, a tank is always full, but we look for the space between the top of the tank and the top of the waste level. Typically, you will see 6 to 12 inches of airspace. The space likely tells us that the inlet line is free and clear of any obstructions and new waste can enter the tank freely. Again, if there has been too much time between pumpings or there is heavy toilet paper use in the home, the top sludge mattress may block the inlet line and cause a backup into the home. The tank is then over normal operating level. Pumping the tank will alleviate most tanks over operating level, except in the event that there is what we call run back from the drain field. This means once we pump, we observe effluent water making its way back into the tank, indicating that there is an issue with the drainage system. Let's take a look at the system as a whole. Here is a standard gravity two tank system. The primary tank is just a bit higher than the secondary, which is also just slightly higher than the drain field. Once the system is up to normal operating level, it's put to work by gravity. Input of waste and then output of waste. If you're experiencing a backup in your home, which could mean your toilets aren't flushing or you're seeing waste back up into a floor drain or shower, keep in mind that gravity makes the rules here. The waste will back up at the lowest point possible. This means that if your toilet upstairs is giving issues, but your toilet downstairs works just fine, it's likely not an issue with your septic system. It's probably a blockage in the fixture itself or close to it. If you're seeing waste pooling over your tanks, it could indicate an issue with the drain field not accepting water or the line from the tank could be compromised. How often is service needed? We recommend every three to four years depending on the occupancy of your home. The more people, the more frequent you'll need service. There's more to learn at plumberswaste.com where you can also schedule service online.